Okay, from time to time we have some uh, questions about how do we override uh, certain templates inside of uh, MemberPress. So for example, here's our login form template. Um, and a lot of times uh, folks who have their membership site set up to only allow an email address as both the username and the email, um, they want to get rid of this username or part. So this is just one example of changing uh, the template. So um, let's go ahead and log in and we'll have a look here. And this is my uh, testing site, so I apologize. I have a little bit of clutter here. But um, if we go to, uh, let's see, let's go to member, actually, let's go to plugins and we'll edit, go to the editor. And if we go view the member press folder here and select, and we're going to go down to app views. So anything in this views folder can be overridden. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But I wanted to say for this login one, they'd come to this login section. And here's the form, form.php. So this is the template that loads up our login form. And uh, what they wanted to change was this right here, username or email. Now it looks like we actually have a filter here. So this could be also uh, customize with a little bit of custom code. Um, but if we want to actually override the template, because maybe we want to change the label or maybe we want to style things a little bit differently and add our own HTML with it. So um, we could easily just grab uh, this one right here, username or email. And we could just delete it right there. So it says email. Um, but then when member press does an update, this change here will be lost. So what we want to do is we want to override this template by copying it to like a child theme, for example, so that uh, when we update our plugin, uh, these changes that we make to the views are not um, going to be overwritten. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, go to docs dot memberpress.com and search for override and there's this article how to override template files it gives you a warning here when creating a template override please remember that templates can change over time you must check for any incompatibilities after each new stable release of the member press plugin to ensure your templates continue to function properly now that being said we don't change the templates terribly often um, but it is a good idea to have like a staging site or a development site where you can test new updates to member press just to make sure your over your overridden views um, are not broken so anyways that being said um, basically there's a lot of text here but the the whole idea is that you copy the file from member press so the app views this one's account home but we're gonna do login form .php. and then you copy it into your theme folder create a folder inside of that called member press and then we do login here and then form.php so that's basically what we're going to do here and uh, override this template file so let me uh, fire up my FTP here and we're going to go to uh, let me find my FTP information for this site here really quick. I'm going to pause the video while I fill that out. Okay, so I was able to connect successfully here. So if I go to my WP content folder and we're going to go ahead and look for the plugins. We're going to find member press here. Okay, and then inside the member press we're going to go to app views and this time we want to override the login form, so we're going to say login form.php, and I'm just going to copy that over to my desktop really quick. Okay, and we're going to open that file, make some changes, and then we're going to re-upload the file into our theme folder. Okay, so I've opened the file from my desktop here in a um, text editor here. I'm just using Notepad++ on Windows 10. 
And what we want to do, we wanted to get rid of this. So I'm going to delete that. We're going to save the file. So it'll save to our desktop. And then we can come back to our FTP program here. And we're going to find, let's see, we copied it to our desktop. So we're looking for our desktop. We want form.php. There it is. Okay, so what we need to do is on the server side, we're going to go to WP content, and now we want to go to themes. And I'm using a 2012 child theme, so I'm going to open that up. And I've already got a folder in here called member press. If you didn't have one, you would create this. In fact, let me just delete it really quick. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it member press. And then we're going to create a new folder again inside of that called login. Okay, and we're going to go inside of that. And now we're going to copy our form file over here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and log out of the site and we're going to go back to that login page and make sure that our change was uh, took place there. And it was, we do not see the username or string anymore. So our changes were successful and uh, that's how we do it. Um, some of the other common files we see that people like to override are um, let me go back to my plugins folder here. Member press, app, views. So another common one that we see is the checkout form. And that one is here in checkout form.php. And another one that we see pretty common is our account navigation, which is where uh, the account page links are like home, subscriptions, transactions, and logout. And another one is um, like our subscriptions and payments tabs on the account page. So that's where you can find some of these view files if you need to override them. Um, again, they can change over time, though it's less likely. Um, but it's still good to have some kind of a development site. Um, where you can test with newest versions of MemberPress to make sure that any view files you've overridden um, are still displaying okay and that the functionality like logging in or checking out that that all still works. So anyways, hope you found this video helpful and uh, if you need any other help, uh, please reach out to our support team.